Not only did he not land on the other side of India, he found himself in a place called the Caribbean, and he was like, this is India. <laughs> and the people there were like, I don't know if you've been eating some of the herb we've been living about, but this is totally not India. And they're like, this is India, and you guys are Indians. They're like, brother, we are not Indians. He's like, I know Indians when I don't see them. You're Indians, you're just on the far side, so you're West Indians. And he stuck with it. Christopher Columbus stuck with it his entire life. Other explorers would come to him, they'd be like, yo, Chris, I don't think you made it to India. He's like, it's India. They're like, I don't think it's India. He's like, it's India. He died refusing to acknowledge the possibility that he never made it to India. Not only that, my friends, he never set foot in America, ever. And yet, he had a public holiday <laughs> named after him in America. That, my friends, is the inspiring story of how white men can fail up.